When it comes to the Black American experience, identity can be a factor one struggles with in order to figure out their place in the world. When that Black American is a woman in their 20s and biracial, things continue to get even more complicated. From 2000 to 2008, Girlfriends was an American sitcom that followed the lives of four completely different Black women as they challenge and support each other through their trials and tribulations and figure out their place in the world. This show was so impactful at the time because it helped destroy the stereotypical images that the media carried out on a consistent basis about black women. As different as these four women were, they still complemented each other in their own ways, making their friendship believable. One woman in particular who offered a unique perspective was an eccentric, adventurous, and free-spirited bohemian woman named Lynn Ann Searcy. This mixed-race character lived with Joan for eight years before the series began and quickly developed a reputation for being a freeloader, despite having five postgraduate college degrees. After being pushed by Joan to grow up, Lynn's living situation changed frequently. Throughout the run of the show, she lived with Tony, Maya, William, along with a couple of her boyfriends. Lines were often blurred when it came to differentiating between Persia White and Lynn Ann Searcy. White often allowed the writers and producers of the show to take elements from her life and add them into the show. These included Lynn's activism, her focus on documentary filmmaking, and her pursuit of music. In Girlfriends, Lynn was down to earth and carefree, which combated the aggressive stereotype portrayed in the media of black women. You couldn't help but appreciate seeing someone live fully and authentically in her truth. It's no surprise that Persia White was cast to play Lynn, being that her life so closely imitated Lynn's. Persia herself is also biracial, a musician, and a free spirit, which is how she was able to bring such authenticity to Lynn, and this is why Persia White will always be unforgotten. Persia Jessica White was born in South Philadelphia to a white American mother and a Bahamian father. Her family moved to the Bahamas when she was a child and she grew up there until she was eight. According to sources, her father was paralyzed after being involved in a car accident when White was three. He would end up moving to Miami to seek medical care. White's mother would move the family to South Florida a few years later. In a 2005 interview with Wendy Williams, she revealed her mother is Irish and both her parents were involved with the Black Panthers. Persia was already a talented ballet dancer, but her move back to Florida is when her acting career began. When walking down the street with her mother, Persia was discovered by a talent scout at Coconut Grove's Children's Theater. She joined the theater and began cultivating her skills in acting, singing, dance, painting, modeling, and playing musical instruments. She hasn't stopped performing since then. She later moved to LA with hopes of pursuing a music career as a singer, but turned down several album deals because she would lose her creative control. Persia has always been a person that's motivated by individuality and authentic expression, so pursuing her music more independently was a better route for her. Persia explains, when I make music, I want it to be honest and to be me. I want to wait and do it the way I felt it should be in my heart. According to sources, White has a daughter named Mecca born in 1995. While Persia decided to pursue her music independently, she focused more on acting. White's first major on-screen role was a guest star on an episode of NYPD Blue in 1996. From there, she followed that up with appearances in Sister Sister, The Parenthood, Malcolm and Eddie, The Steve Harvey Show, Clueless the Series, and more. White appeared in a short-lived TV show called Breaker High with Ryan Gosling. The series lasted a total of one season before being canceled in 1998. The cancellation of Breaker High made room for White to have the opportunity to audition for her breakout role as Lynn Ann Searcy in the UPN CW sitcom Girlfriends, created by Mara Brock Akil, who got her start as a writer and producer for The Jamie Foxx Show and Moesha. Interestingly enough, Girlfriends starred Tracy Ellis Ross, Golden Brooks, Jill Marie Jones, and Persia White. However, the original pilot cast looked a lot different than the cast we would all come to love. Originally, instead of Jones and White as Tony and Lynn, respectively, the unaired pilot had actresses Leslie Silva and Christina Cox playing Tony and Lynn. The characters of Tony and Lynn were both recast after filming a pilot that never aired. It's unclear why these roles were recast, but when Jill Marie Jones and Persia were introduced to Golden Brooks and Tracy Ellis Ross for the first time at their first promotional shoot for the pilot, there was an instant chemistry between the four of them. White was never part of the original auditions to be cast as Lynn Searcy. When it was announced that the character Lynn was going to be recast, White stepped in to audition. Jones recalled being added to the cast after the original pilot. We were both part of a recast. We met for the first time and everyone was like, you guys are going to be best friends. White said that while imitating the dance moves that would later become famous for the opening theme montage, they put us in a circle and we had to dance and the camera was panning around us, we had to hold hands. 
When interviewing White, many have stated that she doesn't appear to be too far off from her character Lynn Searcy. White explained that she had asked the writers if her character could be vegetarian, and they agreed and made Lynn a vegan. White requested to be biracial as opposed to a light-skinned black woman after not hearing that perspective on television, and the showrunners granted this request as well. She had also told writers and producers about her activism, and they wrote it into the show too. We have meetings when you're cast, and they talk about the character and the direction they're going to go in. So I met with all the writers and creators and I felt like it was really important to put some of the issues out there that we don't always confront, meaning racial issues, being incredibly liberal. I was just so excited when they said, okay. I said, can she be biracial? I said, I'd never been on a show where they just let me be what I am. In my whole life, I'm either the anonymous, we don't know what she is, or she's black and we don't talk about it. I was like, why aren't we talking about it? Why aren't we putting everything out there? All of these contributions contributed such a powerful character and performance that it earned Persia an Alma Award for Outstanding Female Performance in a Comedy TV Series in 2008. As producers continued to develop Lynn as the show went on, writers approached White and told her that they were modeling Lynn after Persia and taking elements from Persia's life into the show's universe. White's music has even made her way into Lynn's personality and interests. White was particular in the sense that she wanted certain artists to come onto the show while maintaining her authenticity. After the sixth season of the show, Jill Marie Jones would fulfill her contract and decided to move on to other projects. When a member of the main cast of a television series exits a show before it ends, it's typical for rumors to develop. People will come to their own conclusions as to why the actor left. Were they fired? Did they want more money? Were they pushed out by other members of the cast? In the case of Jill Marie Jones, she just wanted to move on to other things. Jones' decision affected the cast immensely, particularly White. She revealed this in a 2020 podcast interview for You Might Know Her From. It was really sad because Jill was one of my closest girlfriends of the cast. I loved her and had a special connection to her. What people don't understand is that our contract was for six years. The following years were options, so she left on her own will to do other things and it felt sort of sad because it was this dynamic that was so good. I think it took at least a year to get past it, at least for me. In the same interview, White revealed that she had lunch with Jones to try to convince her to stay. She also stated that there were talks of Jones returning to the sitcom during its eighth season, but the impending writer strike of 2007 to 2008 put a stop to that conversation. While on Girlfriends, Persia continued to develop her music. She worked with artists such as Gary Wallace of Pink Floyd, Dominique Miller of Sting, Jerome Dillon of Nine Inch Nails, and Big Boy of Outkast. She wrote soundtrack music for three independent films and three songs for the Girlfriends soundtrack. Persia met Saul Williams on the set of Girlfriends in 2003, who was a multi-hyphenate, multidisciplinary artist himself. Being that they had so much in common, they dated for five years and got married in 2008. Unfortunately, they divorced less than a year later in 2009, but they still remained friends since he was featured on her first album along with Tricky and Rick Allen. In 2008, it was announced that Girlfriends would not be coming back for a ninth season, leaving the eighth to be its last. The final season was shortened due to a previously mentioned writer strike, and the sitcom never had a proper series finale, leaving the fans and staff of the show without any closure. Since the ending of the series, talks of a reboot have always been present, but nothing has gotten off the ground. All five members of the main cast and Mara Brock Akil have all vocalized their desire to give fans the ending they deserve. After filming Girlfriends, Persia released her first solo album, Mecca, named after her daughter. Persia produced the album herself and released it under her record label, Hybrid Music. She describes it as being aggressive, dark, and moody heavy rock. It features 12 tracks combining electronica, trip hop, blues, and prog rock. Mecca has a very spiritual feel to it with powerful lyrics and a breathy, delicate voice layered over hard beats with electric and acoustic guitar sounds. In addition to her music, Persia had roles in several shows throughout the years, including Blackish, Will and & Grace, and a recurring role as Abby Bennett in the hit CW TV show, Vampire Diaries. On the Vampire Diaries set, she met her husband, Joseph Morgan, who she married in 2014 after a two month long engagement in an intimacy ceremony in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, in front of 26 guests at a private villa. 
the two have continued to collaborate on several passion projects. Multi-talented as an actress, musician, and producer, Persia has also been a passionate animal rights activist since she was 12 years old. She is the co-founder of Echoed Images, a new production company whose mission is to create conscious, world-changing media. She was able to co-produce the award-winning documentary Earthlings, which was narrated by Joaquin Phoenix in 2005. Joaquin Phoenix commented on the documentary, of all the films I've ever made, this is the one that gets people People talking the most. For every one person who sees Earthlings, they will tell three. The success of Earthlings inspired Persia to become involved in the production of Whale Wars on Animal Planet, as well as protest against the wearing of furs. She did a print ad for PETA in which she is holding a skinned fox carcass with the headline, here's the rest of your fur coat. When asked why she feels so strongly about this campaign, Persia replied, it's funny because I feel a little sick and shaky because of holding this animal. And I think the thing that made me become a vegetarian and become involved with animal activism in the first place is when I was a little kid, I saw my dog get run over and a part of his fur got lifted up and you could see the flesh of his leg. And it looked very similar to the animal that I am holding. I loved my pet, my animal and I realized it looked just like what I had had for dinner probably about two hours before that. And the reality of the fact that all animals are the same and that it's just a brutal truth that we sort of cover up. Most people never see real animals dying nowadays in modern society. People wear and eat animals and contribute to such violence every day. And the fact is, I think they should be shown. I mean, it is violent, it is graphic. I mean, there's no problem looking at some freshly picked vegetables. You wouldn't get sick, you know? Anything that has to be hidden and covered up, I think there's something really dark going on there that should be exposed. Persia's passion for animal rights has also inspired her to be an ethical vegan. Even her husband turned vegan eventually from being inspired by her cooking. Now she and her husband live in Florida where they created a production company together called Night Owl Productions to produce their original projects. With music being Persia's first love, she is a member of an industrial rock band called XE03 and continues to primarily work in the film industry. In 2019, White reunited with her girlfriend's co-stars Tracy Ellis Ross, Jill Marie Jones, and Golden Brooks on an episode of Blackish. Charlemagne the God would end up interviewing the four women on the set of Blackish to discuss the impact of girlfriends on the culture. Not too long after that reunion, Netflix brought the rights to girlfriends and began streaming the series in 2020, just in time for the show's 20th reunion. Once Girlfriends hit Netflix, talks of a reboot once again entered the zeitgeist, but it appeared as though no studio wants to offer the money to finance an ending for Girlfriends. Persia continues to inspire millions of people every day through her activism and her art, continuing to be a person that challenges the status quo and dances to the beat of her own drum the same way Lynn did in Girlfriends. Her individuality shined then and it still does to this day, and that is why Persia White will always remain unforgotten. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Follow Comedy Hype across all social media and look out for original content on our new streaming service at ComedyHype.com. For Hype Plus, I'm Tatiana LaJoy.